There. Ooh, ooh. Whopper. I don't know the words. Whopper, I just know whopper. Them. They just say whopper over and over. Oh, you rule. That's what they say. The whopper, whopper. Yes. You rule. And then, I, but can you imagine a million dollars just from creating a burger? I'm going to start thinking of some things right now. And then we'll make it tomorrow during the show. Okay. Good luck. You're going to go buy everything? You know what you we probably it. need? What? Ketchup. It's an important part of burger for many people, not for me, but some people like ketchup out there. Apparently now it's also an emotional support ketchup bottle. The company has released an emotional support ketchup bottle right here. 14 ounce glass bottle comes with a cap, an adjustable strap, and even stickers. Oh my goodness. Some might think of it as a response to the Stanley Cup craze. Oh. Support ketchup bottle is available for a limited time on Amazon. Maybe a good Valentine's Day gift if you're certain someone loves ketchup. I don't think so. That much. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I don't think so. I take it back. <laughs> hey, one thing we can agree on, if you're flying anytime soon, Southwest Airlines unveiling plans for a revamped cabin, and they're pretty cool. The refresh, refresh will affect a new aircraft delivery starting next yeah. year. Yeah, among the new features passengers can expect on future flights, multi-adjustable headrest cushions, personal electronic device holders, in-seat power ports, and larger overhead bins. And you can see in the background there, each one comes with its own ketchup bottle. <laughs> emotional, it has emotional to be emotional support. Or ketchup Otherwise bottle. you can't bring it on the plane, you know. Southwest employee uniforms also will be getting a complete makeover. What about the leg room? Nothing there. Nothing there. <laughs> but we installed chargers on the back of the seats. That's something it in is the right nice. direction. It is nice. If yeah. you've been on a flight without it and your phone doesn't have enough Juice, juice to get you somewhere. Right. You gotta yeah. choose between sitting in silence or <laughs> talking to the know. person next to you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You always know when you're sitting there, you can you can see them get on you the know. plane. They sit next to me. And you know Southwest is how it's like random. You yep. could choose anywhere and it's mm -hmm. always that's always tough. You can't choose who sits next to you though. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, weather forecast? Let's talk about it. All right, so we're going to catch up uh, to uh, winter next week, and you'll see that in the full 10-day forecast. Uh, already kind of catching up, but here in St. Joe, check out the temperature, 40 degrees, 10-degree difference uh, just in the wind direction. 40 degrees right now, St. Joe, with a northeasterly wind at 7 miles per hour uh, with the uh, colder Lake Michigan, that air is being carried over land, which is why we're about 10 degrees colder. Not only St. Joe, but Michigan City as well at 36 degrees. 39 in LaPorte, 45 in Knox. You can see as we get away from Lake Michigan, uh, 50 degrees right now in Goshen, 50 in Warsaw. Uh, and yeah, I'll stand here and say it. Warmer temperatures on the way this week, possibly hitting 60 degrees in a few locations towards the tail end of the work week. And we'll start with the temperature trend to kind of show you where we're going. Uh, I've already looked at it last week, uh, marking, you know, I got to go hiking here, got to take the boys hiking there. We're almost three to four straight days. We're going to be uh, looking at uh, some outdoor time, hopefully you as well. On Friday, there is a chance of some scattered showers. So if you want to enjoy the sunshine and warm air, the Tuesday and Wednesday, obviously into Thursday, by Friday, still going to be warm, but some light showers, uh, light to moderate showers will be coming through, perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm. The line starts to come back down into the mid 40s uh, coming up this weekend for your Saturday, also into your Sunday. Overall, something we've talked about all week last week and even before that the pattern is going to shift back towards the colder and average next week. When I say average, I'm talking 31 32 degrees for high temperatures. As a future track, so into our Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock, another cold start, a lot of frost in and across the area, upper 20s, lower 30s, and breaking out into some sunshine by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, much like uh, today, lower 40s by 1 o'clock on Tuesday and then gearing up for a very pleasant uh, evening. Not quite as warm on Tuesday as where we were today, but still a pleasant day nonetheless in the mid 40s around 5 p.m. and then cooling back down to around freezing uh, by 11 o'clock at night on Tuesday. And important to note, 34 at 11 p.m. rather than the upper 20s. That's that added moisture starting to come back into the forecast, which is going to take those overnight lows back up. So more of a 38, even a 48 Thursday night into Friday. A weekend forecast, not bad, uh, but it is worth noting that next week uh, there are some snow and rain icons starting to show up on the 10-day forecast. We'll discuss it in more detail just after the break.